इधर देखते हैं तो कर्जा उधर देखते हैं कर्जा पीछे देखते हैं कर्जा आज हम किसी दोस्त मुल्क में जाते हैं तो वो कहते हैं ये आए हैं मांगने के लिए इन सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी and said that the friendly countries had started looking at Pakistan as a state that was always asking for money. In the months since the statement, long-time ally China announced refinancing of a $2 billion loan, while United Arab Emirates pledged a $1 billion loan and also agreed to roll over $2 billion debt. As the country awaits IMF loan, it is again looking towards friendly countries for help to avoid defaulting on external debt obligations. the friendly countries uh, the difference between taking loan from imf and taking loans in shape of deposits from china saudi arabia ua is that one is a technical proposition uh, the political leverage comes at the board level here we take money based on our historical relationships and diplomatic ties we do not make an economic case to them that we need money for this purpose it will be spent here that is how it will be repaid so we basically ask them look we have been good friends we are in need please give us money now the problem is that in friendly countries now their exposure in pakistan in terms of debt has gone very high china alone the overall liabilities of pakistan are 30 billion dollars which are three times more than the paris club now these countries have started worrying that you know we are putting money in pakistan but we really don't know if this you know pakistan has the capability to pay back because we are defaulting on letter of credits we are defaulting on repatriation of you know profits in the china's case the ipp money we have not been paying so i think what pakistan needs to do is that now convert these monies into an economic proposition take them into confidence that that is how we would like to service your debt and this is the gap we need it more rather than just taking it again on you know our diplomatic ties with friendly countries so my answer in nutshell is that the world has changed pakistan needs to now deal with bilaterals and multilaterals on merit and basically on commercially viable economic transactions need to be agreed uh, these handouts which we have been used to for several years uh, the space for that has shrunk uh, significantly